This is a quick walkthrough on my cut down Maxi Swift, or as I like to call it, the Franken Swift Mark II. Uh, start with the front, two cameras, GoPro 2 waterproof housing, which I'm actually replacing with a 3, the uh, Sony 650 TV line board camera in a metal protective case. The reason it's pink is I lost a couple before, cause, and once a black camera is sat in some long grass, you're never going to find it. Moving on, we've got two 2.2 amp uh, three cell battery bays. Go bigger, but it messes with the flight characteristics and it will probably glide like a bit of a pig. And in the middle, this is where all the electronics are. It's just a plastic box from Maplin with some holes drilled in it for ventilation. This little thing here is a, um, an adapter to mount my Mobius action cam so I can get different angles. It just screws on. This is just the same as the top of a tripod and the actual thing that's stuck in there is a flash to tripod adapter or flash shoe to tripod adapter. Behind there I've got my GPS receiver for my FY31AP which is obviously inside the electronics bay and the other the speed controller there is a Turnergy Plush 4055 which has got an extra heatsink and it's got some extra fins as you can see so the air can fly for, uh, flow through and come out the top. I found that the standard heatsink ran a bit heatsink. Sorry, the standard speed controller ran a bit hot, so I just added the extra heatsink, and it runs sort of warmish now. There's the motor. It's a Turnergy 35, 36, um, 14, 50 kV, turning a 9 by 6 folding prop with prop stops here, so I don't hit the phone. The servos are uh, Savox SH. It's two two fives. 257 digital Metal Gear servos and they work perfectly well for this setup. They look small but they're very powerful. And this is my Immersion RC Tiny Telemetry. And just here, the Tiny Telemetry is obviously connected to the video transmitter. And I've got some, some random graphics on here. As, as you can see as well, the whole thing's laminated. It's not the best job in the world but it's really tough. Right, and on this side, another servo and my Easy UHF receiver. Some more graphics. And I've got uh, Clevis push rods with carbon fibre rods. And if I flip it over. You can see the straps for the batteries coming through. And the tape's just to mark the centre of gravity. And I've got three Fibre, flat fibre bars, bars going through. So one goes almost to the tips and round. One goes through just on the motor mount to strengthen that. And the front one's just there behind the electronics bay to keep that strong. And the motor mount itself is actually for a remote control boat. But it works really well and it's really strong. So that's it. That is the Franken Swift.